We are back with a true delight and a rising pop sensation. Conan Gray has been rocking our plaza this morning. He's racked up more than three billion streams on Spotify with hits like Maniac and Heather. Today, the 23-year-old superstar is releasing his second studio album. It's called Super Ache, and he stuck around to tell us more about it. Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. No, thank you. Thank you. We feel like we're at the beginning of something that's going to be huge. Thank you. I asked you outside about the title, Super Ache, mm -hmm. and you're a little coy. So <laughs> I want to give you another chance. Super Ache, what's, what's the backstory on the album title? The backstory is I wanted to, like, come up with some word that kind of had that feeling of, like, you know when you're like getting over something, getting over like a breakup and you're being really annoying about it? You're like <laughs> calling all your friends and you're like, it's, this is the end of the world. And they're like, it's not. Like, it's just not that serious. I wanted like a like a, a super ache. You know, I wanted that like kind of lingering yeah. feeling. Yeah. Like, very a dramatic. Word that captures cool. it all. Yeah, yeah. Are you getting over a big breakup? I've never dated anyone. Oh. So, oh. Okay. So really, I'm just a liar. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you. I mean, just, just seeing all your fans out there, girls, guys, everybody just screaming over you and your performance this morning. So how does this new album differ from what people have heard already? Hmm. Well, I wrote my first album, Kid Crow, when I was a teenager, and there was a lot of teen angst. I was really angry and frustrated, <laughs> and I think since then my anger has sort of softened to just so much sadness. Oh. Um, so wow. that's what you can get on Super Ake. It's oh, super really? exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to sadness. I, yeah. yeah. Tell but us about that. What do you mean? I mean, I think that's the progression. When you're young, you, you're you like, oh, you're like fighting against mm -hmm. the world. You're yeah. like, oh. And now I'm like, oh, hmm, maybe, maybe some things are my fault. Maybe sometimes, mm -hmm. like, you break your own heart, you know things aren't personal you know sometimes people just don't have the same feelings for you yeah. so i think that's like the biggest thing i've learned have you always kind of put your emotions into like lyrics yeah i've always written i mean when i was a kid i would like um write little like diddles for um like signs that i'd see on the street or like like goldfish and stuff like that you know i, I would just like sing little songs and then eventually i started writing longer songs um when i was like 12 ish mm -hmm. i love it wow. because you're really targeting like the those things that you have to sit in and just process through i also wanted to ask about julia michaels the grammy nominated artist because you were able to collaborate with her on a few tracks what was that like i mean she's incredible she's just like me and i feel like there are very few people in life who will really tell you how they feel about something super honestly, and she's just dead honest all the time. I think that's so important. Like when you say just like me, is that what you mean? Yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> I feel like it's important to be brutally honest with songwriting for people to actually be able to relate. One of the things I noticed when we were outside is, is your fans, they really seem to, to deeply feel your, your music. They, they really seem to emote when you're up there. To what do you attribute that? Why do you think that your fans really are able to connect with your music in such a visceral way? I mean, I think that I just write music like it's my diary, essentially. And I feel like, you know, any, any human emotion, any real human emotion is really nice and comforting to be able to lie in. I hear that you're a big fan of plants. <laughs> we don't think that's odd at all. In fact, well, you're we, a big, you are. I am yeah, you're a huge like, fan. Yeah. We, want, we wanted to help you embrace this, this love Thank of plants. Thank you so much. We wanted to present you with something. This is a special <gasps> oh plant my God. from the third hour of today. Thank you, Brian. Wow. Her um, name is Fern. Yes. <laughs> this is so special. Fern. Yes. Fern. Fern when Gray. I was a kid, I wanted to be a biology teacher. So Really? Oh, wow. So when you're about to start your whole big tour, um, you're going on, on the road for three months. Mm -hmm. Are you bringing plants with you? Maybe I'll bring Fern. Take Fern. Yeah. Fern Gray. If Fern's okay Send us that. pictures. <laughs> Conan, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.